Hey guys, here's how to make a budget-friendly jollof rice student edition. If you're a student or on a budget or you're still new to cooking, here is an easy jollof rice recipe you can try yourself. I am Onine. Welcome to my channel. For this recipe, we'll be using some tomato paste, an onion, fresh peppers, garlic, salt, seasoning cubes, crayfish, fresh tomatoes, which is optional, and some vegetable oil, and of course, your rice. We'll start by boiling the rice. Put some clean water in a pot, put it on your stove, and allow it to boil. While you are waiting for the water to boil, it's time to cut up your vegetables. You can cut them up manually with a knife like I'm doing in this video or you can use your blender to blend everything. Either way, it's okay. If you're worried about the peppers hurting your hands, just apply some cooking oil on your hands before you start cutting and you're good to go. By the time you are done cutting or blending the vegetables, your water should be boiling. Pour the rice into the boiling water and allow it to cook for just 5 minutes. Once it's 5 minutes, turn off the heat. Drain the water and wash the rice with clean water. After washing the rice, pour into a sieve and set it aside for when we need it. Now it's time to make the jollof mixture. In a clean pot, add some vegetable oil and allow it to get hot. Once the oil gets hot, add your garlic, onion and your fresh tomatoes. If you don't have fresh tomatoes, just add your tomato paste. Combine thoroughly and cook for about 3 to 5 minutes depending on the strength of your stove. Remember to cook on low heat. After that, add your crayfish, some salt, some seasoning cube, mix thoroughly and add some water to the mixture. The water should be enough to cook the rice properly. If you are not sure about the quantity of water to add, the water level should be slightly above the rice when you introduce it back into the pot. Now it's time to adjust the seasoning. Check if you still need to add salt or extra peppers if you can take the heat. Now pour the parboiled rice into the mixture. Combine thoroughly to avoid burning. Here I added extra dry peppers and cover the pot, allow it to cool. The 
water in the press dries up mix everything together and your jollof rice is ready to be served you can have this with any protein of your choice or you can just eat it alone or with boiled egg the most important thing is that you don't stay hungry so that's all for this video remember to share this with your family and your friends like and subscribe if you have any questions let us know in the comment section thank you guys so much for watching see you in my next video bye